Hello guys welcome to my humble YouTube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Demon Lord's Voyage. Tensura X One Piece, by Ren Bo LTE. Chapter 4 The Beginning, by Hockey Do You Mean This? De Gruel said as he clenched his fist while coating it with armament hockey that turned his hand into jet black color. Whoa! How did you do that? It's not even a day since we arrived in this world. Milam said in astonishment. But soon, Guy, Leon and Rimuru also coating their hand with armament hockey and showed it to Milam. Well, after we received the basic information from Rimuru regarding this world, we just instinctively capable of doing it. Oh including observation hockey and conqueror hockey. Guy's statement suddenly make luminous, Milam, Dino and Ramirez frown noticeably since four of them also received the basic information, but they can't do it. Don't be discouraged, Guise is a demon who known to be excellent at magic manipulation so it's normal. Leon on the other hand is a otherworlder so of course he have seen this hockey thing more than once. In de Gruel case his original body is an ultimate organism so doing something like strengthening is easy for him. Rimuru explained to those four depressed looking idiot, yes including Luminous. Then, what about you? Ramirez asked, me? Well, as you guys know I'm a genius. Looking at Rimuru's smug expression, Luminous seemed to got pissed of for some reason. Dino seemed to want to say something, but Milam quickly dragged him to train somewhere else, and just like that the four of them disappeared from the place. Rimuru then say to the other three that he has something to do and leave them. Asterisk a month later many things has changed during the time when the Octogram spent their time in Sabodi Island. Milam, Dino, Ramirez and Luminous hockey training also has finally paid off. The most impressive of the three is obviously Milam who mastered both Ryuo, Advance Armament Hockey, and Future Sight, Advance Observation Hockey. While Luminous is also a monster too since she able to learn Future Sight in a month, but unfortunately her armament and conqueror hockey still stuck at the peak of first stage. Ramirez and Dino meanwhile just mastered all three basic hockey without any advancement. Rimuru, Guy, Leon and De Gruel on the other hand managed to master all three hockey in advance form. Phew, our ship. The Black Pearl finally finished, thank you for your hard work during all this time seal. Less than less than it's my eternal pleasure to be of use to you master greater than greater than. Rimuru just smiled sweetly as his gaze is still locked on the majestic medium sized ship in front of him. All the material on the ship is fully coated with the armament hockey and with seal excellent modifying the material on the ship turn into black permanently, further boosted the ship endurance. I need to tell them about this, Rimuru thought as he quickly went to search of his friends. Meanwhile Luminous who has just done with her daily training just came back from her usual treasure raid. As she keep walking she noticed a lot of civilians is kneeling on the both side of the road. Except for me and that green hair guy. All the peoples is kneeling, what happened? Luminous mutter in confuse, but decided to ignore it and keep walking. But soon, she found a man with astronaut like outfit is looking at both her and a green hair man beside her with shocked expression. All the civilians also put on a horrified expression while seeing those two. What? Are you lost? Want me to give you a direction? The green hair man said nonchalantly toward the astronaut looking guy. The guy suddenly point his pistol and try to shoot the green hair man. But the man dodged the bullet with a smile SND ready to cut down the astronaut looking guy. I see now. So that's a celestial dragon, and that man is pirate hunter Roronoa Zoro. This is the event that Milam has been talking about. Luminous finally clicked the pieces together and roughly know about the situation. Well, it's not our time to be involved yet, Luminous thought as she silently walk away from the scene, but then. That woman is pretty, I'm gonna take her as one of my wives. The celestial dragon said while pointing toward Luminous. Yes, I shall put her on registry as your lady 14 sir. The celestial dragon guards then grabbed Luminous's shoulder and grab her strong enough so that she can't break away. The celestial dragon then smiled disgustingly as he approached Luminous with his sweaty pig face. You gonna served me well tonight. Luminous who earlier thought to not interfere with the current event completely changed her thought, I'm sorry Milam, but we gonna face admirals sooner or later right? 
Her beautiful face slowly turned colder and colder every second, the bloodlust she emitting is nothing the civilians or pirates here has even seen before that's right, the queen of nightmare is furious. 